So we went from what was probably the best movie of the year a couple of weeks ago to now what is arguably the worst movie of the year this week. So Glamour Girls is a new Netflix original that just got released a couple of days ago. It's a remake of a Nigerian film from the 90s. It's supposed to be a crime drama with a whole bunch of other stuff spread throughout. This film is everything that is wrong with a remake. Just forgetting that it's a film to begin with, let's just go with the fact that it's a remake. This, from what I can tell, is inferior in absolutely every way to the original from the 90s. The one in the 90s, I've seen a couple of clips of it on YouTube, it has a bit of charm about it. It's got that cult sort of quality, that low budget quality that makes you really love those films because there's more effort put into them. You know, the writing is a lot better, the acting is a lot better. Everybody is having more fun and trying to make things work. Whereas when you throw a lot of money behind a film like that, which didn't have the greatest plot to begin with, you now end up with this really superficial, just pointless film that's been made. And that's really what this remake is. It is two hours of essentially expensive stuff, really. The film has no heart, it has no soul. It's almost like a film that was made out of spite. Someone has said, hey, you know, fucking Nigeria has no money and no nothing, no culture. And so this person made this film, this remake, this really lavish, over the top, expensive remake, just to be like, no, fuck you. Like, hey, look, we have fucking gorgeous gorgeous women and we have money and boats and cars and we have mafia and all this shit without there really being a point to the film. That's just how it feels. That might not be the case. That's how it felt to me while I was watching. I was sitting there going, what is the point of this film? Like I got almost an hour through and I still didn't know what was going on. All the acting was really, really over the top is the wrong word because over the top can be really good sometimes. The acting in this just felt wrong. It felt weird. And I don't know if the directing was the problem, you know, if the actors were being directed that way. I don't know if the writing was the problem, but all of it just felt weird. You know, the interactions that all the characters had with each other, the way they spoke to each other, it felt really unnatural. And it takes you out of the film. Like you're sitting there going, is this how people interact in Nigeria? Nobody in the world interacts the way that these characters do. It makes the film feel really weird and bland and just shit. And I'm sure the people who worked on it had a lot of fun, you know, with all the fast cars and all the great jewelry and all the fucking fashion and all this sort of stuff. But if that's what you wanted to do was just showcase the high life that's in Nigeria. Why don't you make like a documentary or something? Do something else. Like don't try and give yourself a narrative to follow if it's just to show off things. And I think that's what lets this film down the most is that it's more interested in what's on the surface level than what is below that. It's got no depth to it at all. And for some movies it works for like really big high octane action films and comedies that can work. But this isn't really going for that. This is going for more of a crime thriller drama. Like you have to have some substance there for that to work. And unfortunately, for this movie it really didn't work and I don't see anyone really getting through to the end of this film at all. So that's why I'm gonna give Glamour Girls a 2 out of 10. So tell me guys, has anybody watched Glamour Girls? If you have, comment down below, let me know what you thought about it. Yeah, this is a bit of a disappointment because I've really enjoyed the sort of African cinema that's come out over the past few years. I feel like there's been a lot of good movies coming out of South Africa. This film that's come out of Nigeria, I was pretty excited even though it was just a remake of another film from the 90s. I was like, Look, I'm sure it'll be exciting, I'm sure it'll be fun, and I was really, really disappointed. So, yeah, I don't recommend checking this one out, guys. That was the review. Hope you really enjoyed it. As always, click through to another video. We'll keep having some fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.